sure what we're talking about green. For the rest of us. Yeah, for you and me and anyone else who drives an SUV. No judgment here, we're both on one. We'll be fast food. Have a ton of kids. All right, ABD boy, let's stay on topic. This, is, this show is about green. That's what this is all about. If it's not green, for your wallet, and for the environment, then no count. Because last so time we check. checked, they're both green. Dude, we did it. <laughs> Give me some. Yeah. All right. We never get through that in one day. No, is that right? <laughs> first time ever. <laughs> okay. So, we're here um, with Kevin, Kevin, Kevin from Green Staff. He's the R, win, R plus oh, window insulator. insulator. He's got some cool stuff. I'm actually looking at putting this stuff on my home. He didn't even know that. We hadn't met. I met one of his salespeople. So there's like a plug for you. Yeah. I think this stuff's cool. It's, it's very cool. cool. Very we're cool. Gonna let, we're going to let Kevin explain what this is all about. Sure. So. Guys, what we got is um, we took the idea of uh, insulating windows to a new high-tech step. We took polycarbonate, which is the backstop of a uh, baseball, a basketball a hoop. Mm -hmm. So the thing is really tough. Wow. And EPM rubber, which they put on industrial roofs now, we created a design that when you press it into an opening, this little gasket turns over backwards okay. and it seals the window in. So this window is literally the, the end result of what you get when you order the R plus window insulator. You just slide it right in there. It goes right in the window opening. And that's it. So now you have the efficiency of a quad window. There's, because this is a double pane, this yeah. is a double pane. So I have four panes of glass in there and I cut your utilities to about 40% of what you're paying right now. Cool. Heating and air conditioning. Yeah. Now you guys can't feel this, but there's no heat coming through. No, no. And it's cold out right now. So like, there's we can feel the heat off this glass. Yeah. But with that there, don't feel anything. And what else we've done? We've taken the we've taken the opportunity to build a little mock-up model here that shows you what you can do if you put a little coating on the window for like solar heat gain in the summer. In the summer, the sun comes through, and one of the things, if you could step right over here and put your hand right there. Yeah. That's the temperature you feel on your hand through a single pane glass. You see that single pane? Yeah. yeah. So now if you put your hand over here in this hole, because this, the, the window is missing right here, you can feel the temperature through a double pane low E window. Uh -huh. Now fill it in front of my window right here where that cutout is. There's nothing there. Now you can feel a little if you just take your hand and feel just a little. Now put it right here in front of this reflective material. Wow. This reflective material is actually a piece of aluminum that has a whole bunch of little bitty holes in it. So what that does is allow you to look out the, oh, wrong one, that's my sleep window. It allows you to look out the product and you see right through it like a screen, but most screens are black. Uh -huh. So you see all these shades and windows and stuff, they're all solid black, the sun comes in and heats them up. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get all that solar heat gain in your house. Well, with this one, because it's because of the type of pattern, the texture, and the deformation we've put on the tiny size holes, we keep the sun from coming in about uh, 75 to 80% of the sun will be reflected out before it turns into energy. Wow. The window companies and the, uh, the window tin companies have been lying to you because when the sun comes into the windows, it has to absorb that energy before it reflects it. Same with the window tint. Because if you put tint right on a piece of glass, it, it expands and contracts differently. It, it gets hot before it reflects it. This reflects it before it gets hot. I've done that. i put tint on the windows. So it, when you get them real hot, they squeeze down, they can crack your window. So we can go to an industrial, into, into an industrial building, a commercial building, like a high-rise building, any 20 stories high or whatever. We can put our systems in, all of a sudden you have a very efficient window and you cut the utilities by 40% in the whole building. Because what happens is that reflective face on the outside, I'm now reflecting all the heat out. Well, in the summer, we want it facing outside. Well, in the winter, we turn it around and it's black. So now I get 2,025 uh, BTUs per hour off of a 4x4 four four window. Mm -hmm. So I'm creating heat in my home in the winter. In the summer, I turn it around and I'm blocking all the heat so out. So you take that same, that same insert and just turn it around. Just flip it around. Pop it out turn it around. You just take it out like that and you turn the thing around, uh, you slide it back into the opening. And now when the sun hits that, now i got the heat coming into the house. Very cool. So the efficiency of the, our, our window insert is really a retrofit product. So you can go into an existing home, existing restaurant. Go to a restaurant and ask them, where's the cold area? Or where's the hot area? They'll always point to it. Yeah. Say, how about if I can fix that for you? They say, oh, that'd be great. What can we do? And then you say, look, you walk in the front door, you can tell that the pressure's off from their, from their stove because it sucks the door in or it blows it out, right? Mm -hmm. You can always tell if the, if the pressure's wrong. Well, I go in and teach them how to balance the pressure, how to do the window. We do a little free energy audit when we're in a home. Mm -hmm. People have uh, literally a little bitty fart fan in their bathroom, right? Always going out. When you first got in a brand new home, you heard that, -goo, -goo, you always heard the vent open. Mm -hmm. After a while, you never hear the vent anymore. That's four inches of air leaving your house constantly over your vent. Then you turn the dryer on. Now we have the super duper dryers. 
that, that turn on super high speed. Yeah. Well, where are they getting the air they're sucking out of your house? Because they suck the air out of your house and go through the dryer. Where do they get that air? Makeup. It's air that comes through these cracks yeah. and through a window and through the sliders. We put these in there and now they have to get the air from makeup. So we use energy, uh, what's an EMV? Energy makeup, uh, is it called an EMV? No. It exchanges yeah. the heat through. You put it up in your attic, so all your vents go through that. You exchange that heat back, and you pressurize your house with fresh air in your furnace instead of having it suck through the windows. Mm -hmm. You're blowing air out the windows. So there's a few things. We do a free energy audit when we show up. We walk you through simple things like the fire fan and your doors. And A lot of people have a situation where they never knew that was wasting a ton of money. So then they get our product and put it in. Their, their utility bills come back, and women uh, are usually our biggest salespeople. They'll tell their husbands and stuff, look how much money we saved, man. We're like... We cut the bill in half. I can't believe it. Yeah. And the temperature is hotter than it used to be. Well, and the women are the ones that are the most sensitive to the temperature, too. Mm -hmm. Well, we hope so. <laughs> We'd like them to be sensitive. Uh, what, I, what I've got here is a little shield, and we put the, the reflector on with no holes in it. So you stick it up in the window, you slide it up in there. We make it so it's, it's smaller than the opening. Yeah. So our other product, because of the gasketry, you can fit in any size opening. You can take this in and out as you sleep, so it becomes a real handy thing to slip in the closet when you want light in your house. And then you go back to your night shift and you slide it up in there. So you can see right here where I don't have it, there's light shining in. Yeah, right that, that would have be behind the seal. Though. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this seals the rest of it, there's zero light going to come in your house. So now you have a sleep window, so you, it blocks 7 to 14 decibels inside the room and it gets really quiet. Mm -hmm. So we insulate the walls, we have a, a buddy who does wall insulation, he drills holes in the outside and insulates your wall. So you can have insulated windows, drop all the sound from outside, you have insulated walls. You can make a little cave that you can sleep in. This improves your work ethic and all the stuff happening in your life because you're no longer waking up, going to sleep, waking up. The garbage truck comes, you wake up, go to sleep. My wife actually has one because we have companies in China, so she speaks at nighttime to China for a company wow. she's a phone operator for. So she absolutely loves it. It's absolutely a cave in my, in my master bedroom. Awesome. So 